Have you ever fantasized about entering the underworld of heists, where brilliant masterminds plan daring break-ins and a cast of questionable characters band together to pull off the heist of a lifetime? Heists in the real world are captivating tales of daring, unpredictability, betrayal, and high-stakes drama, not just the stuff of Hollywood movies. It's like watching a thrilling story unfold right before our eyes. In this video, we'll take a look into some of the most thrilling and jaw-dropping true heist stories that prove life is indeed stranger and more thrilling than fiction. So let's get started. The Heist of the Century Diamonds from Belgium One of the most complex robberies in history was the one at the Antwerp World Diamond Center. Imagine this. There's this super cool vault that's hidden two floors below the ground, and it's protected by not just one, not two, but a mind-blowing ten layers of security. Leonardo Notar Bartolo, pretending to be a diamond dealer, actually moved into an apartment right next to the center back in 2000. In 2003, Notar Bartolo and his group actually managed to pull off an incredible heist. They stole diamonds and gold worth a mind-blowing $100 million. They managed to pull it off without setting off a single one of the 63 alarms connected to the security cameras. You won't believe how the legend of Notar Bartolo's heist was uncovered. It was quite a wild story. So someone just happened to come across some trash on the side of the road, and guess what they found? A DNA trace on a sandwich. That's how it all started. So when he turned 51, he ended up getting a prison sentence that would keep him locked up for a whole decade. It's really unfortunate that a lot of those stolen jewels are still missing, even after all this time. Crown Jewels Robbery This crazy heist was pulled off by Colonel Thomas Blood. This story is like nothing you've ever heard in the history of the United Kingdom. So, on May 9, 1671, this guy and his buddies pulled off a crazy stunt. They somehow managed to sneak into the highly secure Tower of London and snag the Crown Jewels of England. They got their hands on the crown, an orb, and a scepter. Talk about a daring heist! But they ran into a problem when blood was caught. He, feeling quite bold and confident, said, I'll only answer to the king, no one else. Blood knew that King Charles had a soft spot for daring folks, and he thought he could charm his way out of this sticky situation. And to everyone's shock, it actually worked! The king not only forgave him, but also gave him land in Ireland as a reward. This amazing adventure, with its priceless worth, shows just how influential charm and boldness can be, even when dealing with the most serious crimes. California Dreaming The Dunbar heist seemed perfect since the group had blueprints, inside knowledge, and a key. Six guys went to a Long Beach party in 1997. They had the perfect alibis and then became shadows in black clothes and masks. They silently drove to the Dunbar Armored Truck Depot in Los Angeles in a hired vehicle. They entered the depot undetected using their inside information and key. They cleverly ambushed the night guards during cafeteria breaks when the cameras weren't looking. They loaded $19 million inside their vehicle. A real estate agent received Dunbar sealed cash, interrupting the robber's intention to steal their wealth. Alan Pace, the mastermind, was a Dunbar guard. His massive 24-year prison term is the price. Despite their sophisticated method, approximately $10 million of the stolen money remains unexplained. The Robbery of the Millennium The Millennium Star, a 203-carat diamond, was the center of attention at London's New Year's Eve celebrations, which included fireworks and a diamond show at the Millennium Dome on the Thames River. A group of criminals had their sights set on a daring robbery. Their daring plan involved driving a bulldozer through the dome and opening the jewel cases with sledgehammers in broad daylight. A tip arrived at the wrong time for Scotland Yard. 200 police officers dressed as dome cleaners and employees hiding their firearms in trash cans. Police silently waited at the river's edge. After the bulldozer hit the dome, most of the suspects were arrested. Two were caught on the river and several in a protected house. Despite media criticism of the dome as a government white elephant, it was responsible for an amazing day. London's Brinksmat Gold Robbery About $111 million in diamonds, cash, and gold were stolen in the Brinksmat Warehouse robbery, making it one of the greatest robberies in history. 
In 1983, there was this group of six thieves who decided to pull off a daring heist at London's Heathrow Airport. They were all wearing balaclavas to hide their faces, but one guy stood out with his stylish Trilby hat. So they started off hoping to get about $4 million from the Brinks Matt warehouse vault, but they ended up finding an incredible treasure trove. A whopping three tons of gold bullion. Can you believe it? That's like 7,000 gold bars. In just two hours, their regular heist turned into the most massive gold robbery ever witnessed in Britain. Those daring thieves managed to escape with a whopping $37 million worth of gold, diamonds, and cash. And get this, as they made their getaway in a van, they actually had the audacity to wish the security guards a Merry Christmas. The van was practically sagging under the weight of their loot. So selling that stolen gold was no easy task. In order to not raise any suspicion, the gang had to melt down those pure gold bars and mix the precious metal with copper and brass. After following the complex trail of cash, the police quickly located Anthony Black, one of the security officers implicated. It's actually pretty interesting that not all of the thieves ended up getting convicted, and a big portion of the stolen gold is still missing. Somehow, one of the criminals even called his two Rottweiler dogs, Brinks and Matt, in remembrance of their daring theft. The Heist of Pink Panthers The Pink Panthers, suspected of Kim Kardashian's high-profile heist, took a different route in Paris in our next robbery story. They skipped robbing a jewelry store in favor of robbing an individual with valuables. The target was Saudi Prince Abdul Aziz, who was staying at the Four Seasons George V, one of Paris's most expensive hotels, on a Sunday evening at 5 o'clock. The prince was traveling to Bourget Airport with bodyguards and advisors by his side. It wasn't adequate protection. Eight BMW masked assailants discreetly seized the lead Mercedes van. They promptly stole the prince's briefcase, which contained $335,000 in cash, luxury watches, and critical documents. The heist's efficiency and pinpoint accuracy left many issues unanswered. French authorities took the threat seriously and arrested nine Pink Panther members a year later. The audacity of this burglar makes his heist interesting, even if you don't feel bad for the royal. D.B. Cooper's Adventure Heist in 1971, an unnamed American stole a plane and made headlines throughout the world. He went by the alias D.B. Cooper. Cooper pretended to have a bomb and took over a Boeing 747 flying from Portland to Seattle. The jet made a quick stop in Seattle, where he collected the ransom of $200,000. Cooper let the tourists off the plane, but told the crew to take off again. When the plane took off again, two fighter planes were sent to follow it. Cooper, however, eluded capture by just disappearing. With bags full of his stolen goods, he staged a daring parachute escape. The real D.B. Cooper's identity is still unknown. He has managed to evade capture despite widespread conjecture and ideas, leaving behind an intriguing account of the greatest unsolved mystery in aviation. Cyber Heists The numbers related to cybercrime are just mind-blowing. They make those old-fashioned heists seem pretty tame by comparison. In early 2021, a U.S. federal indictment accused three North Korean computer programmers of scheming to steal and demand over $1.3 billion in cash and cryptocurrencies from financial institutions. However, such massive accusations of cybercrime are not new. In 2016, some hackers pretended to be representatives from Bangladesh's central bank and tried to steal a huge $1 billion from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. They actually managed to transfer a whopping $81 million. But here's the thing. They made a spelling mistake in their plan, which made people suspicious and ended up being really expensive. It's quite intriguing how, even in the world of high-tech heists, these tiny details can really make or break the whole operation. The Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist the most magnificent maple syrup heist in the history of Canada, the event took place between the years 2011 and 2012, and it's quite a story. Therefore, around 3,000 metric tons of maple syrup, with a total value of approximately $13.7 million, just vanished from a storage facility in Quebec. It's still a mystery how it all happened. That's a whopping 77% of the total quantity of maple syrup in the world. Those cunning criminals emptied the barrels of all of the syrup and then deftly replaced it with water. 
The thieves of the syrup heist were caught and they were forced to take responsibility for their actions. In the year 2022, the Supreme Court of Canada reached a significant judgment. They came to the conclusion that the perpetrator of this fraudulent operation must either return all of the money that was stolen or serve an additional six years in prison. It's great to see that justice may occasionally take on a flavor all its own every once in a while. The Diamond Wheelers of Hatton Garden This spectacular heist from Hatton Garden in 2015 has been portrayed in a number of movies, including The King of Thieves. A group of elderly criminals, jokingly called the Diamond Weezers, robbed a safe deposit box. So they basically used this huge industrial power drill to go through these super thick walls, like 20 inches thick, just to find a way around the main entrance of the vault. Scotland Yard finally caught up with the master. Brian Reeder, who's 76 years old, got arrested a whole month after that epic heist. By the way, Reader had a criminal past and actually spent some time in prison for the Brinks Matt heist. They finally identified the seven guys who supposedly pulled off that massive $20 million heist. Unfortunately, they were only able to recover $3 million of the treasure, so the specifics of this daring heist are still unclear. It's really nice to think about how, even with all these stories of smart and sneaky thieves, there are still plenty of honest and kind people around us. It's just a little reminder of all the goodness that's still out there in the world. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos from us. Stay tuned because there are so many fascinating stories in the world.